everyone this is Anupam Pushkar and welcome to vPower. In this video we are going to uh, understand Azure Site Recovery. In this video we are going to just have a quick overlook how we can migrate any server which is on on-prem and we can migrate to Azure. We will also have a glimpse that how exactly the configuration step need to be done. So just an overview it's no VPN required it's simple it's fast and a quick setup. Let's not waste much of a time and directly jump into our lab now we'll click on create on the service recovery vault we are going to select the resource group and the will give a name to other vault we'll select the location as ue because i'm located in dubai so i'll choose my nearest location let's click on review and create let's create it now the deployment will be in progress it's going to take some while to finish the deployment uh, let's wait for the deployment to begin yeah so deployment is in progress it will take some time and the deployment will be finished let's go on resources now you can see uh, we have virtual machine to azure uh, since we are deploying and migrating the vm from vcenter let's download this particular ova and deploy this ova in our vcenter uh, let me allow the pop-up to download yes so this is around 15 gb uh, it takes some while to download let's go to vcenter click on deploy upload the ova and click on next provide the name to the ova select the folder select the esx review everything it looks good to you click on next select the storage it's gonna be thin um, give the network to it and finish so let's launch the console once you launch the console the vm will be up it's basically a windows based ova file put the password finish so your ova is deployed once the ova is deployed you will see automatically this page will be opening the first thing you need to do is provide the network so once you update the network uh, it will again refresh it so that you know all the prerequisite scan will be in progress so all the component will be registered so you have to wait for a while for all the configuration uh, when it is being done you can check the appliance component details that is it look good and then click on continue select the replication connectivity now you have to give one friendly name and you need to register your asr appliance so go back copy the registration code um, so once you copy this registration code it's gonna work okay something problem with my copy okay so it's worked uh, let's copy now it will ask you to log in and validate that whatever the code we have given is correct or not so uh, go to it will redirect you to the azure portal once now give your email id and try to log in once you are logged in go back to your portal again you will see it will be registering it will take some small while and then your registration will be done yep yeah so you can see my registration is done let's click on continue once you click on continue you need to register your vcenter just provide your vcenter detail what is the ip address for your vcenter provide the username and password for your vcenter So once you have uh, provided your username and password and just click on add and after that you have to provide the virtual machine credentials. So this is also an important bit of piece. You provide a username and the password for this. Click on add. Okay, uh, let's give a friendly name. Click on continue. So I don't want to add any physical servers let's click on continue so this is going to take some while uh, i'm just going to skip that part and directly go uh, so our configuration is successful now we can go to our apply azure portal and we can validate that now we'll quickly go to our azure portal and in the azure portal we will see our uh, ASR appliance status and we can see that uh, what are the versions for our ASR appliances are running with. Once we have validated that everything is fine, then we'll quickly turn off the server uh, which we have to replicate. 
uh, we need to basically turn off our secure boot because this is one of the prerequisite before you start your replication now uh, we'll resume our replication job basically i've already created and just resuming it because it was failing uh, since it was uh, secure boot was not there once my replication is successful um, Mm, we can see the replication job is successful now the sync actual sync will start basically all the data will be copied uh, from the on-prem to azure so you can see my uh, sync is in progress it is slowly increasing up as of now it is like three uh, percent you have to wait for a while depend upon your vm size so once your uh, replication is done you can see the sync is complete status is protected okay and last rpo is like four minutes back and let's do a test recovery so you just click on test recovery click on okay just you have to choose your network whatever the configurations you need it for um, you can uh, define that what exactly recovery point you're looking for you can click okay and it takes some while and you can actually see the status as well for your test recovery so you can see the test recovery is in progress it takes again uh, depend upon your vm size how much it is once you go to the virtual machine you can see you know your vm will be popping up uh, basically this is the test vm for recovery you can log in you can do any kind of a check uh, you can do that so we can see the vm and let's go back to do an actual failover you can clean up your test recovery uh, once you click on the failover it will ask which direction you want to do it uh, if you want to shut down your vm before doing the failover or not in my case i am just gonna uncheck this i want that the vm to be running click ok and you can see the failover will start the failover also take a while and let's click on the status since we have skipped uh, the shutdown you can see the status has skipped Let's wait for the failover to be completed. Once the failover is completed, we'll connect to the virtual machine and check the status for it. Once your uh, failover status shows as complete, you can actually go to your uh, virtual machines and you can see your one of the VMs will be recovered, the same VM which was your on-prem, DCTR801. Now you see there's no public IP. Let me attach a public IP to it and uh, connect to the virtual machine. So now we'll go to uh, basically public IP address. Uh, we will associate that public IP address to the interface of that particular virtual machine which we just migrated. So we will uh, go to our virtual machine. We'll attach that the public IP address uh, network interface now we can see copy our public ip address make sure you are you allow the uh, the rdp port as well so let's download that rdp files let's connect put the username password i give the local administrator username password click on connect and then we are it takes some while and then we are connected to our virtual machine you can log into your virtual machine validate uh, your disks has been mounted properly or not all the file systems all the files are there as is or not you can just do a quick review uh, of everything and basically this is pretty much all about you know bringing your virtual machine from your on-prem to azure Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments if you need any other videos. Thank you guys.